with up 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 seeds with up this your girl mystic sunflower i'm back to give you guys a collective general energy reading it doesn't matter what your sign is for this message to resonate just please make sure you're using discernment okay be mindful i read past present and future okay so take the predictions how it resonates to your story okay so let's tap in thank you guys for all your love and support to the channel thank you sunseed holy spirit holy spirit holy spirit holy spirit, holy spirit divine my ancestors of the highest white light my spirit guys my holy angels archangel michael please protect me and the collective sunseeds while i channel the energy for them anything other than the highest white light please close shut and block that door please and thank you what is the current energy what is the current energy Ooh. first part out is expectation hmm. two and eight break it down to eleven Hmm. Somebody in their thoughts. Somebody in their thoughts because they was expecting something. Yeah, somebody in their thoughts because they was expecting something. Two and eight break it down to eleven. Something about their thoughts. Mature woman. Six. Okay, maybe this person was expecting you to give them something. Go into partnership with you. Somebody don't know what's up. Somebody like, what's up? Like, what's going on? Something backfired. Somebody could be feeling like, ooh, not so good at this time because they was expecting to get something. Oh, mm. yeah. They and they thoughts. What's this energy, Holy Spirit? Occupation. Three and four, break it down to a seven. So seven speaks about um, completion. Something coming to rest. So maybe this person thought you was going to work with them and give them something. Who chat? I can't make this up deep. Somebody thought you was going to work with them. Toy you in labor? Ooh. This working hard towards something. Bad health? Yeah, I told you somebody in their thoughts. Because whoever this person, this fourth person is, they had a, they, I heard a master plan. So they had a master plan that something would work. They was expecting you to give them something or for them to get something out of uh, working with you. So somebody could have been putting on the front. Yeah. And then they thoughts about it. Their life could be a mess because toil you and labor... That's like the Ten of Wands. It's like, um, you know, burden, you know? A lot of responsibilities, a lot of work. It's like somebody putting a lot of work at something. They thought they was going to be able to get something from you, but um, they're not getting anything from you because Spirit is, a, um, is revealing this person to you as a D. Yeah. Yeah, fourth person, wealthy man. So whoever this person is, they thought they was going to be a wealthy man. All wealthy woman. And if you look at the fourth person, it's a couple. This man has a mask on behind. This woman has a fan in front of her. So maybe this man didn't know that you could see something about them. Because I'm looking at the fan that's above her nose. It's like you smell something. You know when you know... You know, sun seeds for my ones who's really, really, really tapped in. You guys know, like, you could just, you could, it's a scent. You could smell. Like, just by talking to someone or, or sometimes for me, even by just thinking about, thinking about um, someone, I could smell a certain scent. You know? And she has this fan right above her nose. You could smell something about this person. And there's a lot of red on this card. Also, for me, red, red speaks about passion and it also could speak about danger. Okay? Um, wow, I'm hearing that, um, what's that song? Who's sing? um, I forgot who's singing, um, you could do damage, like, you could do, you could do damage, so maybe you knew something, like, somebody could do some type of damage if, occupation, if you work with this person, yeah, 
So you listen to your intuition, 111. You listen to your intuition about something. Yeah, we had three and eight on Toyo and Labor. And we have two and... Uh... Oh, I thought this was... Uh... Two and eight is a ten. But I'm still on point. Thank you, Divine. <laughs> Thank you, Holy Spirit. I know what I'll be feeling. Two and eight is a ten. So whatever somebody was expecting... It came to an end because whoever you are, the mature woman or mature man, whatever they was that you was going to give to them, you're not giving. Occupation, maybe something you do for work. Um, somebody wanted, you know, they wanted you to help them or they wanted you to share with them or give them something. But spirit is saying this person is a D. Three and eight, um, spirit bird confirmation. Three and eight, break it down to eleven. Somebody is in their thoughts because somebody was working hard behind the scenes for bad health. I feel like whoever, <laughs> God bless me. I feel like whoever this person is, okay, and that's in bad health, that's stressed out. They thought by putting in whatever, whatever work they was putting on behind the scenes to steal something from you, it actually backfired. Okay, again with this red, like I said, it could be also passion. Somebody was coming in thinking that they can be, you know, they could, um, how you say, like a lustful spirit. It could be sexual towards you, get to sleep with you or something like this. But it also, like I said, red could mean danger. But I'm looking at this fan above this woman knows. It's like you smelt danger on this person. You smelt what this person was after. You, you like, you felt it. Okay. Yeah, you see that. It's like somebody with the six. Uh, it speaks about giving, but six also speaks about partnership. Because somebody could have been coming in pretending like they want a relationship with you. So they can become a wealthy man. Community, wanting a family with you. Okay, child card. Yeah, somebody seen the innocence on you. They see your innocence. They seen you as sweet. Possibly could even felt like, you know, it would be easy, whatever. Because I heard earlier, mastermind, whatever, whatever with the toy and label, they, they put in a lot of effort behind the scenes, okay? They had a mastermind, they had a plan. Yeah, gift. Yup. To take some type of gift from you. Somebody seen you as sweet, innocent. Um, somebody felt like they was going to be able to come in and get you to, you know, just let, um, oh, the top of my nose is tingling, um. Let loose, you know, you know, let your hair down. Like they was going to be able to, you know, easily be able to take this gift from you. But they're in despair because something backfired. Yeah, they're in despair. It's like somebody was going to come in and, you know, could be a family or someone who was just coming in to pretend like they wanted a family with you. But I feel like I forgot who sang that song, though. But I'm, I'm hearing um, you can do damage. So you felt like this person could do damage. It's like somebody was going to come in pretending to court somebody to become a wealthy man and take something from you. Take some type of gift from you. Yeah, whoever this person is with the expectation 2 and 8 bringing down to a 10, that came to an end. You've seen something on this person. You got my nose itching. Give me a minute, sir. High honor. You know my high honor is my ancestry card. Yeah, your ancestor was definitely on this all around this. I'm hearing all around the clock. Yeah, family room. Yeah, it was. It was. It was, gonna, it was some secrets about this person. Yeah, yeah. In, in regards to a courtship, in regards to a relationship, or someone who wanted to get close to you. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, unexpected income and distant horizon. This could be somebody that you haven't spoken to in a while. You've been separated from. Um, you know, you guys could have been apart. Somebody was thinking with the distant horizon to come towards you to get some type of unexpected income. Yeah, courthouse. Somebody could be dealing with some type of legal issues, legal matters, and they could be needing your help. But the courthouse also could be just mean you just getting justice for the situation. Somebody, I'm mean, also hearing getting somebody crunked. So somebody could have been trying to like get somebody crunked, get somebody to let their head down and get them under the affluence. 
Yeah, somebody was gonna try to get you to like wine, dine, like somebody thought they was gonna catch you slipping. That's all they give me. Like I'm 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 a they was gonna get you to a place where I'm hearing like let loose. So I don't know. Maybe um Maybe this person think that, you know, oh, no, this person too on point, you know, they going to know what I'm doing. So let me come in and ask them, like, you know, maybe let's go out or, you know, let's have some drinks, you know. I'm going to try to, you know, get, get them to a point where I can feel like um they could let loose. So, oh, wow, somebody could literally be trying to have got somebody to be, okay. You is too, 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 too on point, okay. Or somebody could be like, you know. Let me, you know, ask them, you know, let's go out, you know, get them, you know, wind them down, you know, get them, thank you, Spirit, get them to let their guard down. And then I turn around and I ask them for some money or I ask them, can they give me something? Because this is her rise in unexpected income. Somebody who you've been at a distance from is coming towards you or reconciliation to ask you for something. They want something from you or gift them, child. They feel like, you, you know, you, um, you're blessed, highly favored, you're fortunate, you have it. Yeah, look at this reconciliation, double life, and fantasizing. Yeah, and this person had trust in the plan. I heard mastermind with the toy and labor. They had they had a lot of trust in the plan that this plan was going to work. They had it mapped out with the expectation. Yeah, with freedom and pretending. They was pretending that they wanted to take the freedom is giving like a leap of faith. The food card. They was pretending like they wanted to take a leap of faith with you. Mm. Let's see. I'm hearing they was very highly mistaken with you. Your ancestors could have warned you or put you on. I'm hearing um, within time it showed. So maybe you didn't see something right away, but eventually you seen it. Could have even seen it in uh, your dream state. Or you could have smelt something on this person. What's the expectation, Holy Spirit? It's like somebody didn't want you, they wanted you to let your guard down. I'm hearing no fear. So maybe um, somebody wanted you to, somebody wanted to get you to a place where they could get you to trust them. Like you don't have to fear them. Because when I looked at this card with the first person in the back, like I said, this man has a mask over his eyes. Like, you know, you don't have to fear me. You know, like I said, it could be, the red could be passion or it could be danger. Like, you don't have to fear me. There's nothing to be scared of. I'm, you know, I'm here to work with you. You can trust me. But you just like, nah. What's the expectation, Holy Spirit? It's like, nah. Something ain't said right. Expectation. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> divinely got it. You was divinely got it. And look what's under the bottom. Erased. You was a divinely guided away from this energy. It's given like leave the past behind and keep going. It says erase. I deleted everything that reminded me of you. You was divinely guided to leave someone out. I'm telling you, whoever this in this deep is, they put in a they had they thought they had a master plan how they was going, you know, get in and pretend like um, you know, they wanted to work with you, get in a relationship with you, have a family with you. Um, possibly um you know, um, just play it off for a long time. It could have been months. It could have been years to get you where they feel like you could just let, you know, let your guard down or let, you know, um, get you all right, loose. You know, get you to a vulnerable state with this child card and gift where you can trust them. Yeah. Because, you know, kids, kids, you know, um, well, let's get look deep. A lot of kids do read energy very well. 1440. A lot of kids do read energy very well. But there's some kids, you know, where, you know, you got to you gotta talk to your kid. You got to prep your kid. You got to have certain conversations with your kid. Because, you know, sometimes kids can usually be influenced and, and, and just trust anybody. So somebody could have been thinking that, you know, they was going to try to work, toy and labor, put in a lot of work to get you to trust them with this child card so they can get some type of gift from you. But with the expectation and um, divinely guided, you was divinely guided to, you know, to uh, move away from this energy. Yeah. And somebody like, how the hell? They can't believe that. They cannot believe it. Look 
Can I have a card on a mature woman? Mature woman. Can't wait till one second, but I get a big table because we need more room. So we're gonna move the cards over. But we're gonna be grateful right now for what we got to get these messages out. So a mature woman is um, clarified with angry. I am angry at myself and sometimes even you for how things turned out. So this person is angry as heck right now. Okay? Not only with themselves, but even with you because how things turned out. So somebody angry that the fact that they couldn't use and abuse you or whatever scheme that they was trying to run and it didn't work, you see right through it. You smelt the funk on them. Okay, we have true love and um, love triangle. And then we have new love. And then we have apology. And then we have one last um, chance. So you could have found out about a love triangle. You could have found out somebody was seeing someone else while they was with you. Um, while you guys were, for some of you guys, while you guys were separated, you could have found out this person was dealing with someone new. Okay. But, um, this person is mad because what they, how they was trying to move and come in. It backfired because this person is seeing you as their true love. Yeah, they are. They they seeing you as their true love. Now, are you seeing them that way? I don't know. For others of you guys, um, you have new love that's coming in, and it's going to be your true love. But I'm also that's going to be for some of you guys. But for others of you guys, I feel like this person seeing you as their true love. Somebody miss you. Um, somebody could be angry at themselves for trying to get over on you because you see you see through them. You found out. Somebody also could be embarrassed because they know you know. Or they wonder do you know what was their true intention. Yeah. And now they want to come in and apologize for disappointing you. It's like somebody know that you do know. For others of you guys, they want to do you know. So they want to come in and try to put in the hard work to try to make up with you to get on your good side. Because they know whatever scheme, whatever plot they were trying to do, you to event. You're going to know. You to event. They could have been looking at you as a child, someone who's very, um, could be naive or gullible. And you was never none of that. Okay, you just someone who's very sweet, very kind, very loving, and very caring. It's the innocence about you. Maybe also it's giving me with the child card. You could be with some. You could be someone who 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 has um, you know, mature in age, but you have this childlike um spirit about you. Where you know um, you just fun to be around. You know, you just fun to be around. Um. Somebody could have played on that, you know. Oh, that person ain't gonna, they don't take nothing serious. They don't like that. Uh-uh. You take everything serious when it's evolving your life. You understand? <laughs> you know, somebody could have slept on that. And they want to apologize, okay, for disappointing you. You know, um, living a double life. You know, um, having um, alternative motives, you know. To, to, to steal something from you, take something from you. One last chance. Uh, for some of you guys, um, this person is asking for another chance. For others of you guys, you could have said, you know, that was my last chance that I was going to give that person. That was my last chance. Yeah, but this person is angry at themselves and they're angry at you for how things turned out. Yeah. It's it just given that somebody, you, you just, it's like... Somebody wanted you to be naive enough to just sit up there and let somebody take something from you, use you and abuse you, have you in a love triangle, steal from you, possibly give to somewhere else, and it was just going to be like that. Where they do that at? My collective's too tapped in, too intelligent, too smart, love themselves way too much for that, you know? 
for some of you guys, um, you have found new love and moved on with your life. Okay? And this person can still be popping up in your energy. For others of you guys, you have new love that's coming in. You're moving forward to new love. And that's going to be, um, maybe you had to clear out some type of karmic cycle with this person one more time before your true love came in. For others of you guys, this person moved on to new love and it didn't work out. And they see you doing um, being successful with your occupation, doing very well for yourself. And they wanted to spin a block, okay? Because something else didn't work out. What's the occupation? They could, it could be a lot of telepathic messages this person sending you. What's the occupation, Holy Spirit? Occupation. Thank you. Occupation is clarify with lessons. This person is um, learning a big lesson. Okay, they could be possibly in spiritual jail or under under judgment for what they have done to you. I feel like this person didn't really know you like how they thought they knew you. Like even if someone feel like they know you in a 3D, they don't know who you are in a 5D. And this person is learning. This person is under. It's given like the judgment. They learn some type of lesson. Yeah. I do feel like this energy is going to come back. Um, trying to make things right. In divine timing. Because it's here. Spirit is saying make them prove it in divine timing. After they learn these lessons. Um, this person is saying they will soon be back by your side. So this person could definitely be under some type of spiritual judgment. Okay. Um, possibly for some flings and decisions. This person had a very lustful um, spirit about them. And they was going to come in and try to um, seduce you and get you to fall for it. But you're just too smart. It says decisions and flings. Yeah, this is someone who is very lustful in a spirit. This person needs to grow up. And when they came at you with this kind of energy, they didn't know who you were in a 5D. And because of that, this person is learning some type of divine lesson because of you. I'm hearing because of your ranking. This person um, is saying it will soon be by your side in divine time. And the spirit is saying, if this person come back, because we've seen reconciliation earlier, make this person prove it. Okay? Don't give this person nothing. Okay? Give them what they give you. If you decide to, you know, entertain this type of, this energy. Okay? But we got family and focus on yourself. Okay, maybe you found out this person had a family. Um, but this also could be you, Sunseeds. You could be feeling like, you know, I'm focused on myself and my family. I'm putting my family first. I'm focused on what matters to me right now. You know, the things that mean the world to you at this time, you know. Because you, you feel like, I, I, I don't got time to play these games with this person. Spirit is saying, make them prove it. This is somebody who played a lot of games and they backfired. Because they are in despair with the bad health. <clears throat> Give me a card on the child, the child, child. Practice forgiveness. This person wants your forgiveness. Yeah. Because they they choose you, and with this person who lived a double life, they regret this. So this could have all happened in the past, and they could be now going through. Like I said, be mindful. I read past, present, or future. Um, future. This person could have had a double life in the past, and now they regret it. Maybe this person thought that they was going to live this double life, have love triangles, have flings with other people, come in, see you, somebody who do very well in your work, um, you know, someone who's very stable, and thought they was going to, you know, wind and dine you, have a fling with you, and then go about their merry way. Uh-uh. No. You are like walking karma, you know? It's like people do stuff to other people, but... You know, they be they be guided to come your way because spirit will be ready to give them karma. 
and they be looking at you with the child card like you so innocent oh man like i know i could get one up on this person but they don't know who you are in this spirit you're a whole warrior okay and you got a a a, 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 a very good team that backs you up so this person who had a double life is in regret okay and they're saying that they choose you they uh this person is saying i'm so sorry for taking so long to realize it's always been you yeah i feel like this person they explored they uh you know they explored um new loves they they explore having flings with other people only to realize that none of them none of them they didn't get anywhere with them none of them is like mystic sunflower collector sunseeds and now they're viewing you as their true love and they're angry at you and even at themselves how things turned out because it's given you you, you stand in your ground you focus on yourself and you focus on your family and you're not entertaining this energy because you know what you know you feel like you know you know what they're up to you know again i see you like i said you can smell it I feel like you had this person's best interest in mind. And I feel like when they was in a low, low vibrational state, they didn't. And now they're learning these lessons about this double life and regret. And what the bad health and despair. Would be, like I said, I said what 11 earlier, but it's 2 and 8, bring it down to a 10. This person's in their thoughts about it. Yeah. This was somebody who was living a double life. And um, this, is, this person is not who you thought they were. Okay. This person hid secrets from you, okay? This person hid some secrets from you. They could come off real um, extra masculine, extra strong. Because I'm looking at this man with his with his hand boiled up, all strong and masculine. But on a but on a up the up, this person lived. This person got some secrets that they don't want nobody to know about, and they regret because they know that you know what's up and you see through them yeah um a lot of you guys they regret walking away um they fear you knowing these secrets about these things you know um living this double life this person is saying that they wish they knew what they knew now because they choose you every time yeah and this is somebody who wants your forgiveness on seeds yeah you let the, you let this person go you moved on and forever change it says, you changed my life without even trying. The old me is dead and gone. I told you, you're like walking karma. <laughs> you, you, you're you somebody who look like, like who you look like on a 3D, you don't look nothing like on a 5D. Okay? You don't look nothing like that on a 5D. And somebody played on that, that you know, on your innocent. Oh, you're so sweet. You look so sweet. Oh, my God. <laughs> she or he would not hurt a fly. It's easy to get over. 818. It's easy to manipulate this person. Ooh, child. You heard what they said. Forever change. You changed my life. You changed my life without even trying. The old me is dead and gone. Divorce. A lot of you guys were married to this person and you decided to divorce them. But others of you guys, you was just in a long-term commitment with this person and you decided to separate yourself from this person. Okay? For others of you guys, you were dealing with someone who was married, okay? And you found out about it. And now that you separated yourself, somebody, you know, realized that they're not happy in their marriage. They're not happy where they at. They're in love with you. So now they're, they're wanting to get out of this marriage. They want to see themselves out of this marriage because they feel like they found their true love with you. Yeah, Spirit is saying trust your intuition. You trust your intuition about this person and you feel like this person can't be trusted. Why? Because they had you waiting. You really, Yeah, they had you waiting. With differences and not for you, it was too many differences that you guys had. This person doesn't align with your values and morals. For others of you guys, it's given, um, in tune to the, this person played a lot of manipulation games. They had, like, you knew the love was there. You knew you knew how you felt about this person. You felt like this, you know, you know this person, you felt it was real, Sunseeds. And any little thing, any little thing happened, 
you don't hear for this person for weeks or months at a time or they just picking with little things in order to leave or separate themselves from you making it seem like you guys have too many differences it was all part of their manipulation so they can go and do what they wanted to do you know and they knew that they couldn't do it with you because you just always 10 steps ahead you know that's why they're in regret for the, you know, whatever this double life is because somebody feels like they lost their true love. Now somebody wants to um, desire to win. It's like now, yeah, desire to win and they will call. Somebody, you know, um, somebody has a desire to win you back, you know, um, to save this connection. But Spirit is saying it's your choice. Okay, whoever this person is, they feel like they can't move on. It says can't move on. I can't move on no matter how hard I try. This person tried plenty of times, okay? Possibly um, dealing with, a you know, a, a bunch of people, you know, um, at one time. And they they just feel like they can't move on. Oh, I just said ooh, a bunch of people at one time. Oh, shit. Can't move on, Okay. There's somebody who feels like they can't move on. Spirit is saying they're going to reach out to you. They're going to call you. But it's your choice. Pretending. I am pretending to be happy. that I am pretending to be happy. Or oh, that's fine. But I'm miserable. This was somebody who was pretending to be happy. Or is pretending to be happy. Wanting you to think that their life is fine. They're not going through anything. They're miserable. It says I'm miserable. Okay. This person is miserable. I feel like this person... You know, it was hard to read this person um, because they gave you mixed signals. This person played a lot of games. They kept hurting you, you know? And I would say hard, hard to read is because I feel like when you was first, when, when I say hard to read, because what I'm picking up on, I'm picking up on a collector that, that that's very intuitive, very gifted. Um, you know, your intuition be on point. But we're hard to read. I feel like you would just, you know how they say love is blind? You were just in that, that, that love is spot for this person where, you know, you, it was ignoring the red flags. You want, you wanted to believe what you wanted to believe and to, you know, you know, things that kept cautioning you kept popping up. Okay. And it was the mixed signals that this person was giving you to try to confuse you, to manipulate you, you know? This person is saying that they love you and they will call. Now somebody with the toy you in labor in despair, uh, it's like somebody feels like their life is empty. Like they should have worked hard, you know, harder on this connection with you. They should put in hard work, you know. They should have fought for this. This is somebody who's saying that they love you. It says, I love you more than I have ever found a way to say, um, say it to you. It's like somebody didn't knew what they was missing until you literally stood your ground, stood on business, and decided to focus on yourself and your family and, and not deal with this energy at all. Give me a card on a D, the D, the D. For some of you guys, it you know it wasn't it wasn't you know the gift. It doesn't just have to be money. It could be this person stole your time, your energy. Um, you know, you being a gift and child, whoever you are. You, I know the emperor's gonna come out or the emperor. You know, being in your energy is a gift. Okay, somebody could literally have a life of nothing. And then they get around someone with it, with your energy that's so, you know, so angelic, so, you know, um, so angelic, so pure. And then next thing you know, all, you know, good things start happening for this person. What's the D? The D? It's like all their rainy days will fade away if they come, if they, if they close enough in your energy. And this person, yeah, they know that now. The deep is clarified with the waiting game. But some of you guys, like I said, it's not, you know, the gift is not just all about, you know, uh, um, abundance is not all about money. It's time. It's energy. You know, and this person stole that from you. The deep was clarified with the waiting game. Somebody wanted to steal your time. 
the deep and waiting. Somebody want to steal your time. Spirit said, hell no, you got people to see, people to see, places to be, things to be doing. You ain't got time to be sitting around waiting on this person because only thing, time is going by. Time is going by. Okay, you could get, you you could lose things and get that damn thing back 20, 30, 20, 30 times again. But you cannot get time back. Time, you cannot get that, get that back. Okay? And this person with the deep and clear power waiting game, it says, I've been slow to return, but maybe it's because I know you'll be waiting. Somebody wanted you to, th thought you was going to be waiting for the rest of your damn life. They just, they just had it in the bag. Like, they knew they had juice on seeds. They was, it's this child and gift. They was playing on your innocence. But they didn't know who you was in the 5D. This could be somebody who, you know... Have things they way, live a party life. This could be like a, a rock star. A rock, a, 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 you, I'm getting like rock star. Live this party life, you know? Oh, I know I know you a good girl. I know you a good guy. I know you don't do the things I do. I know you'll be sitting there waiting for me when I get back. <laughs> sure. Can't be trusted. Worth waiting for. can't be trusted and worth waiting for this person can't be trusted but they knew you was worth waiting for and it says i'm looking at the, it says desperate and I, I need i need answers talk to me i'm going mad trying to understand yeah they trying to understand somebody thought they they just, shit they thought they looked the good like they was the next best thing since sliced bread like uh-uh I, I know you think i'm fine i know you think i'm the the, the, the shit i know you'll wait on me you are what and now they desperate looking for answers because they feel like you you was always worth just somebody who knew your value from the day you met them they knew your value from the day you from the day they met you the spirit said you can't trust this person yeah this is somebody who needed time to see if there was other better options out there for them it's like somebody knew what they had but this is somebody who was like you know what um, I know what I got, but I'm 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 a um I'm a I'm a weigh my options out. Like I'm gonna see if it I'm gonna see if it's something else better out there for me. Like I know what Mystic Sunflower Collector Sunseeds bring to the table, but I I just want to see if it's something better out there. But I know they were waiting for. I already know. Like ah, uh -uh. fear was like nah. This person was stealing your time. For some of you guys, you spent five, ten, twenty, thirty years with someone who was just doing nothing but stealing your time trying to go out there and find something better than you and it was nothing ever better than you what's the um despair despair thank you yeah gossip despair is clear for our gossip i heard rumors about you that has been difficult to ignore so this person could have listened to gossip about you maybe people spread rumors on you lied lied to this person about you Okay. Now, see, this person know what you showed them when you showed up. This person knew what type of person you were when they was in your energy. They knew them lies and that gossip didn't match your energy when they was around you. Nor even when they were separated from you. Somebody knew what was being said about you. It did not match your energy. That's why they never wanted to give up on you. Because if they felt like any of these rumors, okay, was difficult to ignore... This was somebody who would have been left you and never even had you wait um, waiting for them. Why would they have something waiting that they ain't coming, they ain't returning back? They knew. They knew that shit. They knew those lies did not match to your energy. Okay? They listened to these people and they and they wanted to use that. Like this somebody, when they out there doing what they doing, and instead of trying to, they, you know, they feel guilty because they know you're not that kind of woman. You're not that kind of man. You don't deserve that. So what they do, you know, you know, to, to, to try to mask that guilt, it's like, but, oh, we, oh, but they said this about this person. Oh, yeah, I remember they said this about this person. Yeah, let me think about that so I could do, so I could feel good about myself when I'm out here living this double life. But they knew it ain't meant that your energy from the moment that they met you. They knew who you were. This is somebody who play a lot of manipulation games, Sunseeds. Look, it says silent moves. <laughs> What's the toy in labor? What's the toy in labor? Toy in labor. Yeah. 
This is somebody. This person is very clingy, very touchy, touchy. I'm getting. This is somebody who 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 who, who likes to hug you, kiss you, keep you close to them. You make them blush. You make them smile. They watch what they do when they're around you. They want to be perfect. They don't want to make any mistakes. Somebody was intimidated, period. And they being haunted. This is somebody who never wanted to let you go. But that double life that they live, somebody could be ashamed. Somebody... Somebody don't want you to know everything, what they have done, and what they hide, and what they keep close to their chest. Because one side of this is, he got a blazer on, and the other side, his chest out. And look at his hair, his fist, it's boiled up. They keep something close to that chest. They don't want you to know. They embarrassed, I heard. Haunted. This person is haunted by their decisions and their memories um, that you guys made together. It haunts them. Somebody's actions is haunting them, what they did to you. And they worry. Because you filled them up. And in and, and every aspect, in, in each and every way in their life. It was nothing. It was nothing. You. <laughs> This person went outside of this connection. It was nothing that was missing. It was nothing that was missing in this connection. You gave them everything they needed. But they just had to see if it was more, if it was, if it was something better than you. Mm. It says worried. I'm worried that it might be too late to make things right between us. This person is worried that it might be too late. But Spirit is saying this person is going to reach out to you. They're going to call you. But it's your choice. Okay, what you decide to do, you know with the information, you know? Yeah, player and unchange. That's why it's divinely guided with expectation. Expectation was clarified with divinely guided in your race. Some of you guys, you feel like this person will not change. They still a player. They just coming in to get, get you to a soft spot and so they can take something from you. For some of you guys, you don't gave too much time. You ain't giving no more time to this person. A lot of you guys, this person was choosing to keep it in, you know, uh, emotional distance between you guys because they wanted to play the field. And they wanted to manipulate you to think that, oh, you're the problem. Any little thing, you know, it was just a, a, it was just something to keep them outside while they could go do what they wanted to do. It ain't had nothing to do with you. Mm -mm. Verge, I'm, Verge, I'm about to confess my true feelings. Please be willing to listen. So this person wants you to listen when they confess their true feelings, how they feel. You know? Um, let's see. Let's, 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 let's see. Because somebody feels like they got to reach out. They got to confess. Because they, they feel like they can't help the way how they, you know, they currently feel. They can't. Yeah. Somebody... Somebody heart chakra is definitely a Ooh, child. Give me a card on the um, expectation, please, and thank you, Holy Spirit. Expectation. Thank you. Ooh. Yeah, receive and open. You could expect to receive a lot of blessings from the divine. We have no note under the bottom. Um, a lot of blessings is coming in. You know, um, now that you was able to close out this um, cycle with this person, okay? Um, somebody seen you in your oh, and look, the moon card. Somebody, somebody seen you in your north node. Um, whoever you are, you fully in your purpose. Okay, receive it open and purpose. You're fully in your purpose. You're fully in your north node. And somebody was just like, life got to be great, you know, to be with that energy. Or this is somebody who I don't want to lose. I know I'm, I'm playing the field right now. 
you know, you know, I, I just, I just can't lose this person because I know they're worth waiting for. The moon card, they was hiding. They was hiding their true intentions. Yeah. But they see you as wish fulfillment. This is how they see you. They view you as wish fulfillment. They see you in your purpose. They see you blossoming. They see you prospering. And this is somebody who doesn't want to lose you. But this is somebody who who, who still has been avoiding doing the shadow work. Um, also, it's giving like somebody who's been running away from their feelings. This could be somebody who has commitment issues. Okay, someone who dies in and out of relationships. But with the moon card being here in divine timing, okay... I feel like things are being exposed to you. Yeah, this person spies on you a lot. Yeah, we have attraction, Mars, and hot. This person finds you extremely hot. Okay? Um, ooh, if this person, this somebody, like, if I could just, if I could just be with you, get next to you. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody knew from the from the very very most first moment you met them that you was their wish. I'm hearing something about your eyes, and you know what they say: the eyes are the window to the soul. It's something about your eyes. Mm. But this person had hidden secrets. For some of you guys, you could have found out this person was in a whole nother, had a whole nother family, married to someone else. For others of you guys, this person was just living a double life, wanted to keep you while they was out having flings. But there's somebody who spies on you a lot. Attraction, yeah, toxicity, bonding patterns, and change. Yeah, you broke some type of um, toxic cycle with someone who wanted to have you bonded and stuck to them. Yeah, we have masculine and cold. Somebody who was very detached and cold and mean to you. And then right behind it, we have divine feminine, ego, vanity, and pride. And then we have confusion with Neptune illusion. Like you, like whoever you are, you just you took these rose colored glasses off, okay? And you decided to start nurturing yourself, focus on yourself and your family. Yeah, and to separate yourself from this person. But this Mercury retrograde, okay, um, I believe, I think it started August 5th. This person, they feel as and their emotions is running high at this time when it comes to you. Because somebody is like, what about me and you? Yeah, look, release, surrender, and purge, but it's in reverse. This person does not want to release you. They do not want to let you go. And we have apology and forgiveness. Somebody say that I love you. Somebody is saying that I love you, but this is somebody who needs to heal. Okay, they need to heal some issues and work on with a mature woman occupation. Maybe some mother um, mother issues. It could be a father issue. Take it how it resonates. But the way how they do women or men, they ain't got nothing to do with you. Okay, they need to go take that up with. Yeah, but divine intervention is here. I'm telling you, you do. I guarantee you, this person ain't gonna be the same after you. Okay, if they was avoiding doing the work or the shadow work, oh, they, they will be doing it now. They will be doing it now. But whoever you are, um, you fully in your north note, living out your purpose, um, receiving open. I feel like um, you're very blessed. You're very spoiled. You're by the divine. All your needs are met. Anyone who life you come into, they see you as wish fulfillment. Um, I don't feel like this happened overnight. Um, it's something that happened in divine timing. Okay, this I'm hearing somebody could have watched you go through beautiful changes. Um, even for some of you guys, painful changes. But you know, you you to change. Somebody could have been trying to come in with the same type of energy that they were in the past, only to get stopped at the door because that's not who you are no more. You are fully in your north node. Maybe when you was in your um your south note at one time you resonated with this energy but you being in your north note your protection is even more heightened so they were stopped at the door <laughs> you call them a mature woman and they angry at you because you um they angry at you because not they angry at themselves but they also angry at you but how how things turned out because what they once was able to do before, they can't do no more. Yeah, look at this. Let me get this card. 
mature woman is clarified with guarded. A lot of you guys are guarded towards this energy. Okay? And look, this harmony, somebody is triggered by that. This person is triggered by the fact that you're guarded towards them. They don't like that. Somebody who was very deceptive. Yeah, this is somebody who you shared the soul tie with and changed. Yeah. I feel like once you release and let go of this soul tie, somebody who kept you bonded in a, in a, in a very unhealthy, toxic cycle, you leaving that behind. And now you look, Venus, Venus and offer and separation. It's like, I feel like once you leave this, you get your true love. You know, for others of you guys, this separation is making this person longer for you even more. Okay, because they see you as their Venus. They see you as their true love. But something about comfort, um, comfort zone south node. Yeah, see, this is the thing. It's like you, 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 you move towards your north node, and this person is still on a south node. You know? Yeah. They still in a south node. You're not there anymore. So you don't resonate with that energy. You understand? Yeah, the change in the courage. You walked away from this soul tie. Because this person was refusing to change. You see it right here. When I pulled it, it said play and unchange. This person still operate in a south node. Yeah, third eye and clarity. You guys definitely went through awakening. You have clarity. Your third eye is wide awoke. Yeah, you guys went through awakening. Something about your 4K and beliefs, something about your beliefs have changed. Who you are have changed. Mature woman was clarified with guarded. You guarded towards this energy. Occupation. Occupation is clarified with um I, I, I picture is clarified with activation of higher self in reverse. Whoever this person is that wants to that wants to reconcile with you, okay, listen. They not tapped in. They're not. They're still on a south node. Celebration and abundance, divine intervention. Yeah, divine stepped in. Give me another card on this activation. And, and, and higher self in reverse. This somebody who's... Re yes, thank you, Spirit. Occupation and higher self and activation in reverse. Somebody's refusing to do the work. They they, they want to... They're they not choosing to do the work. They want to stay in a south node. And that's not where you at. You and your north nose. The Spirit is moving you on. And it's like with the purge, we see the surrender in reverse. Somebody, is, they, they don't want to release you. What's the higher self and activation in reverse for occupation? <clears throat> Thank you. Yeah, nurturing and compassion. Yeah, because you know why? This is somebody who 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 they miss you nurturing to them. They 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 love how compassionate you are. That's that child and that gift. They want you to be nurturing and compassionate towards them. And it's like spirit is like, you know what? I'm a rip. I'm a. I'm a. I'm a separate you. I'm a rip you from this person in life. Put you where you need to be, and not because you. You just you. Because uh, spirit like, oh, I think I should put you on a. T put you where you need to be without doing the work. No, whoever you are, you went through awakening, third eye and clarity. You went through awakening. You did the work, so that's why you're reaping the rewards. Spirit is saying, I'm removing you from this person in life who refused to do the work. If they want to sit there, they're going to sit there. But they're going to learn a divine lesson for playing with you. And also for thinking life is sweet enough to keep doing this to, you know, to, to, to energy. They cannot keep doing this. They cannot. Yeah, look, Saturn. There's some type of karmic cycle here that must be fulfilled and, 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 and played out. Maybe you had some type of um, karmic ties that you had to clear with this, you know, with this energy before you was able to move on. Yeah, alchemy. Yeah, I feel like you transmuted whatever energy this deceptive person was sending you, and you and this person is like, it's like they watching you with the Saturn. It's like somebody's watching you with springs and, and seeds. 
something about the springtime, which is New Year, um, New Year's. For the ones who know, you know, you know, it's like somebody's watching your life be different. They watching a new you. They watching, you know, the the trees are growing, the trees are blossoming. They watching this this life, and it's just like they want to be a part of it. But spirits like, where are you where are you doing the work? You think you gonna come towards this person in, in, in this kind of energy? No. And I feel like you transmuted this energy, whoever you are, you are alchemist with the help of your ancestor God. You know, because whatever energy that they was, you know, projecting or sending you away or trying to keep you bonded to, you know, um, you had to transmute it, you know. Um, energy, you know, for the ones who know, you, you know, you know, you know, energy can't be destroyed. Energy only could be transmuted. You understand? So, for whoever I'm picking up on, you transmuted the energy. And the way how you did it, it, it your life is just so different from what this person is used to, you know, seeing you in. And they want to stay attached to you, but they can't because they're not willing to do the work. So, with the spring and seeds, it's like whatever seeds you planted, Divine is like, nah, they not about to, no, nah, they got to do the work. Where they do that at? <laughs> What's the D? They must learn these lessons. What's the D? I can't make it up. They must learn these lessons. Karma, balance, and justice. And I feel like just because you're not with this person doesn't mean you don't wish them well. It's just that you guys, you understand, you understand the, the mission. You understand the journey. You understand, you know, um, you know, universal laws, you know, how things supposed to be, you know, in order to bring balance to the situation. Yeah, truth and expression and action in Jupiter and new beginnings. I can't make it up. The skills are being balanced out. Okay, we have Jupiter here. It speaks about new beginnings, fortune, courage, um, and truth. This is you on yeah, you you look. Your Jupiter, your new beginning is because you're living in your truth. And because you're living in your truth and you're setting up boundaries um, and you're standing firm on that and you know you're letting go what no longer serve you, it's giving an Empress vibes or Emperor vibes. It's balancing the scale out, okay? Because you're living fully in your truth and what no longer serve you anymore with the Courage card, you're walking away with it, okay? You're walking away with it. And this person who's in their thoughts, they're spying on you. Yeah, they're spying on you. And they in despair. Heavy projection, too. This is somebody who tries to project certain energies onto you. Um, even try to mirror your energy with this mirror card. But this mirror is cracked. If you look at this mirror, it's cracked. It's like whoever this person is that's getting bad luck with this karma... That's life falling apart. They try to project that karma onto you. You can even feel it. You know, this person's energy trying to like project it. Because this, this mirror is crap. And that's bad karma. And they try to project their karma to you. Somebody is very hateful. Something about the summertime and growth. I feel like you're going to grow for this, from the this situation. Something in the summertime is happening. We have rebirth and winter. Something is, okay, the sum, you know what this is giving me? The summertime is giving me the 8-8 eight, eight portal, Lion's Gate portal. And then we have rebirth in winter. This is giving me the 11-11 portal. So something is happening around the summertime, which is now. And something is happening around winter time. The left, something is happening 8-8 eight, eight portal and 11-11 portal. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Divine. You know? Yeah, it says, look. It says, um... South node, clingy. Somebody is clingy, want to stay attached to you. Somebody who you shared a soul tie with when you was in your south node, divine feminine. Okay? We have avoidance and still me. Okay? This is somebody who wanted to have you stuck. And you look at her hair. Her hair is wrapped around her eyes. Somebody didn't want, to, want you to see something. You, somebody don't want you to see something. Look, look how her hair is around her eyes. 
with avoidance is, is still me. Somebody don't want you to see the fact that the reason why they want to spin a block is because they want to keep you on your south note. They want to keep you bonded, okay, to whatever, to whatever karmic that they done racked up for themselves. That's not your karma. That's their karma. They ain't got nothing to do with you. You don't live your life like that. You don't give a hell what people say about you because you know who you are, okay? And the way how you live your life, it don't match up to nothing that these people saying. And you ain't worried about what people saying. You worried about how God see you, your ancestors, divine, okay? The most high, whoever you deem as the most high, okay? And they ain't out here blessing no mess, okay? So obviously they think very highly of you, you know? Somebody trying to get you as a stalemate to be stuck so you won't see something with that hair wrapped around her eyes to get you in your, to keep you in your south note. No, that's not where, uh-uh. You, 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 you in your north note, ready and open to receive with your hand. Somebody who got bad karma with this mirror is trying to project and spy on you and project their energy onto you to see if it's working. They're not only trying to project, they're trying to look and watch and see, oh, 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 is my work working on this person? No, it's not working. Pluto transformation. There's a change that's happened. This person could definitely be going to, could be already in spiritual jail or going to physical jail for what they're doing. But we have Pluto transformation. Somebody could be a Scorpio or have Scorpio in the um, Pluto. Okay. But with memories and nostalgia, yeah, somebody is just, mm -mm. it's giving heavy Empress energy. Okay. Um, Libra Taurus energy as well. Somebody is wishing that they would have appreciated you. But it says chemistry and passion and Saturn. I cannot make this up. Sunseeds. Didn't I say that, Sunseeds? What did I say in the beginning this card was, Sunseeds? Let me put the card, put these two cards over here. I said there's something about this person that you see. Like, with the red, I said it could be passion or it could be danger, you see. But if you look at this fan she has over her nose, it's like she could smell something. And I kept hearing that song, um, you could do damage. Like, you felt like this energy could do damage, okay? So you left this energy because you seen someone as a forced person who was trying to court you in a relationship. And what it says, Saturn, passion, and chemistry. It's like somebody wanted to share their karma with you. Okay? Somebody didn't want to leave you alone because they know your heart. They know they know you, they know who you are. Look how loud that plane is over my house. They know somebody wanted to attach them to so they themselves to someone who's on the good side of karma. So they karma could change. It's given like a destiny swap. I can't make it up. Celebration, gifts, and abundance. Divine intervention and guilt. Divine intervention is at play now. This person is about to get karma for trying to steal your gifts, your abundance, take away your celebrations, all because you was leaving them behind. Somebody must not, not only is it laws in the 3D, but it's universal laws too. You know? Release, surrender, and purge and reverse. This is somebody who refused to release you, but you distance yourself from this person. Yeah, you're very closed off. And whoever this person from the past that's suffering or feel like they in lack and in and, and all of this, they looking at you as like, damn. Venus, offer, and look, they <laughs> somebody worried about you getting true love. Present, it says present, abundant, and gratitude. This is where you are. Something been a, a, a long road. Something been a struggle. Something has been a struggle. But I'm hearing, like, you know, you, where you are right now, you are appreciated. Your next love cycle, you will be appreciated. It will be totally different from anything in your South Node. Somebody, look. Venus, abundant gratitude, true love.
self-love, creation, intention. Somebody has an auntie or a mother that passed over that loves them and that's watching over you. They want you to know that they love you and they're watching over you and they're guiding you. That's going to be important to someone. I just heard it. But self-love, creation, and intentions, somebody is realizing how much you love yourself. Okay? Masculine. Um, you could be dealing with a fire sign. Okay? Or something could be, uh, we are in the new moon of Leo. Uh, so this, this masculine could be seeing how much you love yourself. Okay? And I feel like somebody was trying to lean off of you. Okay? I feel like the passion is definitely in, in, in it's like it, it's even more enhanced at this time. This person it's like the more you love yourself, the more this person wants you even more. But the, the, these control tactics and separation, I feel like you gave this person the best that you you know you had at that time in your south note before you grow you know you grew to be in your purpose. And I feel like you you know your the rest of your days, the best of your days, you know, um you, you decided to give that to yourself um, and to whoever, you know, divine bring you, um, bring, you know, um, a lover in for you. But when it comes to the toxicity and you're not, you're not doing that. You're not doing that anymore. You're taking off the rose colored glasses. We're not about to be in no illusion and be confused at all. Somebody is just only trying to control somebody to keep them as a stalemate, to keep them stuck because they're receiving bad karma. Something about the Mercury retrograde, okay? Somebody going to be want to come back and reach out and communicate with you. You could be dealing with a water sign, okay? But with this self-care, lack, and doubts, this person, they don't, they, don't, they, don't, they don't love themselves the way you love yourself. And that's not your business, okay? Everybody got to learn. And we, hit, um, we got renewal and autumn. And uh, when I say everybody got to learn with the lack of the doubts and the self-care and the energy... I feel like you try to help this person succeed as much as you could. Somebody did not have the best intentions for you. How much more could you help somebody until they take you out? And we're not going that route because we, and for one, you too protected. But you were divinely guided. You were divinely guided to erase this. You could you could lead the horse to the water, but you can't make them drink it. You know, you self care and lack of doubt. It's like. And also, it's giving me, like, the way you love yourself, somebody wanted to project doubt on you. Doubt on you. Okay? How you take care of yourself. How you how you proceed to the world. This person, you, there's a lot with this person behind the scenes. But we have renewal and autumn. Something about autumn time. Something about October and November. Okay? Something about that. Your life is going to change. We got the AA portal and we got the 1111 portal that I'm seeing. With that rebirth in winter, it's giving me a it's strongly giving me eleven eleven portal, and the summer is giving me eight eight portal. Yeah, but detachment and, and limitations and fears, you're detaching from anybody who tries to put you in any type of illusions because they're not real. Okay, somebody is is, is very immature. They need to grow up. Okay, yeah, but some of you guys, you got a twin flame union. Okay, that you're about to be connected with. Okay, or meeting your twin, that's gonna be a solid foundation. And someone who, who somebody could even been trying to keep you from your twin, you know, take it how it resonates. It's definitely, it's, 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 it's something about this person that uh uh, the spirit's like, no, and now they're hurting because they feel your the rejection of you. You and your twin could be both experiencing this at this time, you know. And this doesn't. It could be, you know, karmics could be, you, families could be karmics, mothers could be karmics, fathers could be um, karmics. Anybody in your family that's trying to keep you two guys from coming together, you know. But yeah, we have sun strength and empowerment and messages and dreams. Whoever you are, you're very tapped in. You're very tapped in, okay. And you're definitely about to get some type of breakthrough. You are. You, you truly are. Let's pull from the tarot. Okay. Page of Wands and Page of Cups. Yeah, it's like... This is somebody who wants to message you and apologize to you. 
But both of these pages, they give me like immature. Somebody needs to grow up. Page of Wands and Page of Cups. Somebody does not. Yeah, the tower is where we're, like somebody do not want to believe that something is over. Yeah, the tower to the high for something was a lesson. Something was a lesson. It's like this person is begging for your forgiveness. Give me more. Somebody feel like they made a big mistake and they feel like it's too late. Or they, you know, for others of you guys, there's somebody who needed to go, they need to go through, in order to be with you, Spirit is saying they must go through these lessons, heal, do the work with occupation, clan fire, higher self activation in reverse. They must do the work. In order to sit with you, they must do the work. But because you have done the work, don't mean whatever assignment that you guys have does not mean that it's over. You still got to complete the assignment. Okay? And like I said, this is a twin flame connection. This twin was supposed to teach you things about yourself to awaken in you. Just like you were supposed to teach this person things about themselves to awaken in them. But they, everybody has free will. And they're refusing to do the help. Spirit is not going to force them. But they're not going to project their bad karma onto you. Give me more Holy Spirit. Give me more of this energy. The higher friend and queen of cups. Somebody is in love. Okay? Somebody is in love. They're thinking about marriage. They're thinking about commitment. You know... It's just a bunch of regrets running through their mind. You with the Queen of Cups to the the um the higher frame. Somebody is used to somebody was expecting you to be traditional Taurus and, and, and Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. Somebody was expecting you to be traditional or do things a traditional way. But whoever you are, you're not doing things a traditional way. Maybe you was a traditional majority of your life, and maybe you're not traditional anymore. Okay. But something is yeah, nine of pentacles. Maybe instead of doing things with a group, you deciding to do things by yourself. Nine of pentacles. Be by yourself. The emperor to the justice. To the shrimp card. You had the courage to walk away. Be your own boss. Be your own leader. Stand up for yourself. Bring balance into the situation. Somebody was saying, oh, you know, I expect you, you know, you to be traditional, being, you know, being this, this, this cycle with us and, you know, do, you know, conform to, you know, our beliefs and, you know, what, no, something about your belief changed and you decided to, you know, maybe you just might be deciding to be independently, do things on your own. Give me more Holy Spirit on this energy. We have the justice card. Again, Libra energy and the Emperor came back out. Oh, give me one second, son. I gotta get my dinner out the oven. Okay, the emperor in the um, justice card came back out. Somebody is definitely okay. Something somebody could work in a legal system. Somebody could um something could have something to do with um spiritual jail or jail in the um three D. But um, I, it's also giving like. Whoever you are, like I said, high ranking, your authority, nine of pentacles, pre-empress energy, your ranking. Somebody could be a lawyer. Somebody could be a judge. They could sit on this pole like, look who you are. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Somebody's ranking. Like I said, somebody seen you in the 3D and they played on that. That queen of cups to that gift. Somebody played on your innocence. Look at the high effort in the queen of cups. Somebody look at you all innocent and sweet, but they don't know who you are in the spiritual realm, okay? This is someone who thinks more on the surface level, okay? This person could be someone very traditional, okay? But whoever you are, man, you, you, 
You sit high, okay? You sit high when it comes in that spiritual when that spiritual court is, is in session, okay? Yeah. Somebody thought they was going to confuse you and try to take from you. Yeah. The shrimp card, the seven of cups, and the seven of swords, seven, seven, one. It's like somebody was going to try to confuse you and be very deceptive so they can take from you with the six of pentacles because they was watching your seven of pentacles. They was watching your investments. Yeah. It's like, come on. We have Taurus energy, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio energy. Libra energy, Aries energy, and what's this Virgo energy? Yeah, not a pinnacles. Give me more Holy Spirit. Thank you. Yeah, the temperance card, and it wanted to come up in reverse. There was an imbalance here. Yeah, there was an imbalance. That's because somebody was reckless. That's why it would not be no reconciliation here. Yeah, I feel like whoever you are, Queen of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, and the King of Swords, somebody seen you as um, generous, caring, nurturing, possibly a homebody. This could be somebody who think you do very well for work, and they like, oh, you, you know, you don't go nowhere. You got money to spend. You got money to give. You could, you could just give to me and support my lifestyle. And you know, what? Like, but the Queen of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords, the King of Swords. Yeah, why they rush in to try to blindfold you? To have you stuck as a stalemate while still being cold and attached and mean to you. And because they couldn't have your way, possibly could have been trying to project, I said, that energy. They they negative karma onto you. But the tower is here with the ten of swords. Something about divine intervention is at play. The devil wanted to just shoot right out. Capricorn energy, tempers in reverse, Sagittarius energy. Yeah, two of swords, but it came up in reverse. Two of swords in reverse. This is you being able to see clearly the death card in reverse. This, listen, you see that somebody does not want something to end. You see that this person could be possibly even causing some type of spiritual welfare with the five of wands, some type of conflict or drama with the fool card because they don't want you to free yourself because they know you want to be free from this situation. High priestess, you're very tapped in. You're very intuitive. You already know what's up. Okay, three of pentacles, nine of cups. This energy only wants you to work with them because they see you as wish fulfillment. Four of pentacles to the chariot. It's like you try to move on and somebody trying to hold you back. The two of swords is in reverse. Okay? This is somebody who, who doesn't want you to make the right choices. They don't want you to see the truth about them. They don't want you to know too much information about them. But you're the high priestess. You already know everything. You see everything. You know what's up. Three of Pentacles and Nine of Cups. Somebody only want to work with you because, because, of, the, because of the wishes that they, they want to fulfill. They see you as wish fulfillment. And it's because the fool card, because you want to free yourself, it's like, oh, you want to free yourself, I'm going to cause you some type of spiritual warfare. I'm going to have a group of people group up with me to help me cause you some type of spiritual warfare. A cancer could be involved in the top of my nose is tingling. Queen, um, the chariot, four pinnacles. It's like somebody trying to, like, you do on the chariot, you ready to go. Somebody with the four pinnacles, it's like right in front of the car, like, wait, where you going, like, 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 what you mean? Trying to hold you back because they're hurt. But something is a... Yeah. Four wands and six of swords because you are the bag. The stability, the foundation, everything is leaving with you. And whatever type of um, illusions that they were trying to paint, the sun and the moon card is here. It's revealed to you. It's revealed. You see it. So the nine of wands to the queen of wands, it's like something been an ongoing battle with this person. You know? them trying to stop you okay but i feel like whatever this change is you're confident about it okay you're moving forward you could be very attractive this person could be you know worried about you having a lot of options a lot of people being attracted to you you know uh just find you very beautiful or very handsome but the world card a cycle was closed out and somebody doesn't want this cycle to be closed out but with the ten of cards the ten of cups and the three of wands you're done waiting you're going towards your happiness and this person knows it I feel like you choose you choosing wisely and you moving on. What's the death card in reverse? The 
death card in reverse is clarified with the Queen of Pentacles. I don't know whoever this earth sign is, there, okay? Somebody does not want you to move on. And, and, you, and for some of you guys, this could be a whole man operating out of a, in a woman energy. And you know, more his feminine side. Yeah, I told you. And his feminine side. And because of that, this person, I got to cover the, the, uh, the devil card up. This person wants to send a tax your way. Yeah? To slow you down. What's the um, devil? Seven of swords and four of cups. They feel like they missed out on an opportunity. Because they came in expecting to, to, to take your gifts, take your money, take your stability, take all of that. They came in like that. It was already expected. that. You've seen the first card out. Seven of swords, four of cups. Yeah. They didn't want to feel like they was missing. They, they was going to miss a piece or... Okay, so somebody wanted a piece or... Mm -mm. They wanted a piece of what you what you got. Somebody could be under even an investigation. I'm also hearing don't do the crime if you can't do the time. It's like somebody knows that karma is on their behind. And with this apology forgiveness, they coming back to you because they want yeah, they worry. They worry. Because like I said earlier, energy can't be destroyed. It only could be transmuted. So if you transmuting it and you get all these blessings and stuff. Who else the energy? It has to go right back. And somebody knows that. Donna Swords. Holy Spirit, give me a card on the justice. The justice. The justice. The justice card, please, and thank you. Justice. Yeah, look at this card. Courthouse and unexpected income. Whatever debt this person is in, they was expecting to get income from out of you. Distant horizon. Whoever this person that you've been at a distance from, haven't spoken to in a while, separation from, they was expecting to reunite with you and you changed their whole life up for the better. Yeah. But but with the courtship and family room, they had, yeah, they wanted, they was going to be in a relationship with you, but they had hidden motives. Okay? And your ancestors was here trying to warn you about this energy. Like, listen, this journey you on, okay, I'm concerned. Your answer's going to be like, I'm concerned about this journey, you, you know, with dealing with this individual. Yeah, because main female and pathway, listen, you have grown so much, and we need you to go on this pathway where I have, it says mature man and main, and main male. I, I want you to go on this pathway because there's, I have true love. You find a true love in your north node is totally different from finding true love in your south note. <laughs> look how I look at the card. Look at that me. Message. <laughs> Message. This person is only coming in to slow you down. It's like, you know, right before that, that big breakthrough, it's like the man downstairs set his little man's in the see, you know? And if this person knows that you're a lover and you know, you someone, um, especially if you, you know, they knew that you desire, you know, to be married, to be in a committed relationship and you were just single, Somebody could have played on that. But I feel like whoever you are, I just feel like you, 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 I don't see the hermit, but I just feel like you don't, you, you wise now. You even had to learn from your own mistakes. Okay? Yeah, the Ten of Swords, something is over with. The justice is clarified with the, the Ten of Swords. Something is over with. And I feel like you brought your own justice in when you stood your ground. When you stood your ground, you put your foot down. What's the justice, Ten of Swords? Oh, that's a lot. But we're going to take it. The lovers, page of wands, the king of wands, and the ace of um, cups. Yeah, I feel like you made a job. Yeah. I feel like you're making, um, you, you, you making better choices when it comes to people who you want to be in relationship with, people who you want to work with. Um, I feel like whatever this journey you are right now, you know, I feel like um, you got this fearless energy, fearless energy about you. It's very fresh. You're coming up with like new ideas, um, new things that you want to do. And um, somebody is seeing how things are working out for you because you're so chosen. Um, how the, this life that you're creating for yourself, 
It's so beautiful. So somebody was trying to creep themselves in so you could give them ideas of how they could start their life or, or get them ideas to, you know, bring them in some money or how they could how they could get back on their feet. It's like somebody was coming in to try to, like, get your ideas so you could help them prosper. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles. I can't make it up. The Wheel of Fortune. Look at this. Yes. And now they want to come in and apologize. But the wheel already turned. The wheel already turned. You're already doing the work. Something about the summer. Yeah, the wheel already turned. Justice was clarified with the Ten of Swords. The justice was clarified with the Ten of Swords. Okay? Karmic justice already at play. The wheel of fortune, Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. It's a lot of cards out here. Fuck these. Give me a minute. I don't know where I put it at. But we seen the abundance. Be open to receive. Be open to receive. Yeah, it's like somebody is refusing to do the work. And they see you do the work and they want to come and live off of you. Like, come on, spirit, like, how, yeah, look. Celebration, gifts, and abundance. <laughs> and this person is somewhere in regret with the hangman feeling stuck. Spirit, like, that's not, they ain't got nothing to do with you, you know? And they want to come in and apologize because somebody only want to be saved. They don't want to do the work on themselves, son seeds. Okay, page of pentacles. Being here, this is studying, having receipts, learning something. The seven of cups. The magician. They don't want to learn nothing. They just want to manipulate and how they can mess with people's mind. Okay, to get them to do all the work for themselves. Yeah, but we have the knight of cups here and the page of swords. This is somebody who's watching you. That was in a King of Swords energy that wished they would have been more vulnerable, more open to you. Yeah, Empress. Yeah, Empress, King of Cups. What should that look? Eight of Swords. They all in their head. Because whoever this Knight of Cups is, Page of Swords, they're watching you, wishing that they would have been more open. Okay, more vulnerable to you. You know? Look. Empress, King of Cups, Eight of Swords. And now they're in their head. Yeah. Thinking about you. Ten of Wands, Queen of Swords, Two of Wands. I just feel like you decided to drop the burden and make better decisions, okay? Maybe something you said to this person they didn't like. But you put your foot down. Yeah. Two of Wands, you made a decision. Celebration. I mean, Three of Cups, Ace of Wands, okay? Something is a celebration, Spirit said. I have to say Three of Cups. You could be decided with this... With this um, Three of Cups, Ace of Wands. I feel like you might, with you celebrating this new beginning. Whatever this new beginning is for you, you can be decided to do it by yourself. Whatever this passion new beginning is. Yeah, and then you got this person from the past who was a player that's reminiscing and, and, recon, and, and wants to reconcile with you. It's like they want to win at all costs. You know? Two of Pentacles. Yeah. This is someone who juggled you. But we had the Ace of Pentacles to the star. You getting a new opportunity. You're getting a blessing from the divine. It's a blessing. Somebody is seeing you as the blessing. They Who wouldn't want to sit with the star? Okay? Whatever this new opportunity, whatever this prosperity, this abundance that's coming in for you, okay? Spirit is saying it's because you have healed. You did the work. You did the work. A lot of you guys ate a cups. You was divinely guided to walk away from this, this right here. That was part of you guys' lesson. For some of you guys, that was your biggest lesson because it was hard for y'all to walk away from this energy. Yes, the hermit, Virgo energy, eight of wands. The judgment. I'm telling you, somebody's being investigated at, a, at being investigated. Okay. Mm -hmm. Six of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, possibly trying to slow up your finances, trying to slow up things for you. King of Swords, the Tower, the Divine Intervention is stepping in. This person is under judgment. 
Yeah, five of pentacles, seven of wands. I feel like something backfired. Four swords, the strength card. You have healed. Yes, you healed. You healed. Seven of pentacles to the king of pentacles. Whatever you're working on, whatever you're investing in, it's going to bring you in a lot of abundance. And spirit said that's the damn sure with the ace of swords. Yeah, two of cups, six of wands. I see you going into... A, a, a connection that's going to be very triumphant. Um, a lot of success, a lot of attention, a lot of accolades. Uh, you know, a beautiful union that's coming in for you. Oh, there's a lot of cards I see. Oh, I don't think I ever did a read of this look. Ooh. But I wasn't going to stop until Spirit said, okay. Well, I hope this reading was able to help you guys. I'm going to get you guys some ancestry messages okay what they want you to know moving forward okay and the top of my nose just keep tingling yeah it's like whoever this energy is it's like now you know you know the dark is, is you know the, the the dark loves the light always trying to get close to the light always trying to you know but also with the moon to the sun you know there's nothing that can be hidden as well you will always you will always see it. You will always see it. You'll come through with your, just with your light just shining. You know? And it's not to, um, you know, come down hard on this person. But the way how they was coming, it's like, damn. How you going to try to take somebody else down because you don't want to do the, the work? We all got the same 24 hours in a day. How you want to expect somebody else to do all the work? And you not do no work on yourself. They ain't got nothing to do with your with your with your life and, and, and the karma you created. They ain't got nothing to do because you see this person and this childlike energy, this gift, okay, to the divine. You was if somebody was expecting you to come through and clear it all out for them. Who the hell want to put on somebody else's burden and baggage that they ain't even had nothing to do with? Your ass is like get your you know, get your ass on, okay. No, nobody got time for that. And then they, and they, 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 they was refusing to change. But this all they see was your innocence and, and this gift that was on you. And they wanted it for themselves. The first person with the wealthy men, they was hoping to come out of this wealthy. All on the helps of you, working with you. They felt like you would just do, use the one that could take them, take them out of this poverty. Take them out of this. You know? Let's get you guys some ancestry. Some ancestry messages. I'll probably close this out. Some ancestry messages for the collective side. See what's the most important message you want through now. So we have bottle tree. Bottle trees are believed to protect homes from from death and evil spirits. So maybe someone is needing to get a bottle tree or look into that. Something is important to what the color blue. It says bottle tree. Bottle trees are believed to protect homes from death and evil spirits. So maybe someone needs to look into that. Okay. Give me more um, ancestry messages for the collector. Just seen 3313. Give me more. Thank you. We have ancestry money. Um, this note is meant to be. This note is meant to be burnt and offered to your ancestors who may benefit from it in the spiritual world. So someone is ancestor, uh, um, could be wanting some ancestry money, okay, as well. It says, this note is meant to be burnt and offered to your ancestors who may benefit from it in the spiritual world, okay. Under the bottom, we have bay leaves, okay. Bay leaves are believed to have the ability to... The ability to induce visions, enhance divination abilities, promote a long and harmonious marriage, ward off evil, and destroy enemies in rituals or spells. Okay, so some of you guys could work with bay leaves or needed to work with bay leaves. Um, these bay leaves will help um, help you. Again, I'm gonna read it. It says bay leaves are believed to have the ability to induce vision, enhance divination abilities, promote a long and harmonious marriage. Warn off evil and destroy Emini. I'm sorry, Eminies, Eminies, Eminies. Sound like Eminems. 
Somebody could want M&Ms. <laughs> um, I meant to say, and destroy enemies and rituals or spells. Okay? Ooh, more ancestry messages. More ancestry messages. Please and thank you. More ancestry messages. So we have graveyard dirt. Graveyard dirt has a various uses, including curses, luck, protection, love, and ancestor work. It is a um, a vital a vital ingredient for rituals related to death. So somebody could be needed to go see um, a passed over loved one at the grave site. I heard M&M's, so that could be important to someone. But somebody needs to, um, you know what, and you know, I'm going to tell you what I just said. Somebody need to go visit the grave site. Maybe you need to clean, maybe it's one of your loved ones. Maybe you need to go there, clean up around it, you know, probably put some fresh flowers. Um, just clean up, you know. A lot of people do it. They take care of their loved ones, you know, in front of their, you know, their confirmation. You hear that horn so loud? Yeah, maybe you need to go to your so um one of your loved ones. Um, you'll know that resonates to you. You know, go to their gravesite, clean up, you know, show them some love. Um, you know, do some little, you know, work to bring some flowers and you know, things like that of the sort there, okay? Under the bottom, okay. We have Florida water. Florida water um is a spiritual cologne used for cleansing, protection, and purification. Some of you guys need to get Florida water. Yeah, gardening. I knew I was on point with it. Wait, I seen to that. I'm like, damn, it must have went back in. Yeah, gardening. Something about, you guys could do um, a lot of gardening, but I was getting like around a grave site, some gardening that needs to be done. Give me one more, give me one more. And that's be a message for the collective. Thank you. So we have yellow candle. So maybe you guys needed to light a yellow candle. But yellow candle represents um, joy and is used, used in spiritual practices for manifestation and devotion. They boost self-confidence and are likely to have prosperity and success. Okay? Prosperity and success. I said incense. Something about your family. Well, yeah, these are ancestry messages. They are definitely here. <laughs> yeah, someone is needing to light a yellow candle. Okay. Well, we if we use um, secret use of cleanse of the text based on negative. Yeah. We have oil. Oil is used for dressing or fixing candles, mojo, mojo handles, leather furniture, money, and other items. So maybe you guys need to look into some oils. And we have go away evil. You um use sacred rituals to cleanse and protect your space from negativity and evil spirits. Okay, let's get you guys a fortune. This read it, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Anything you need to know about me will be in the description box below. Let's get you guys a fortune. Okay. So we have embrace your unique talents. They are your greatest asset. <laughs> I love this. I see. It says embrace your your unique embrace your unique talents. They are your greatest asset. Look at that. Thank you. That was a cute message. Somebody said thank you, Mystic Sunflower. You're welcome. Look at that. Let's see it okay and let's get you guys your numbers because you know <laughs> now you're about to hit that jackpot yes 14 21 32 33 36 42 again the number is 14 21 32 33 36 42 somebody uh father wants them to visit their gravesite Yeah. This is this was someone. I mean, uh, it's just coming up strong. I can feel it. Somebody, father, wants you to, to visit the green sack. And what else I wanted to 
just a little bit. Let's get you guys some signs. This could be their sign or your sign. Okay. And then we're going to close this out. Ooh. The card just came out like that. Ugh. I'm going to put it right back in. Give me some signs. Some signs. Some signs. It. Scorpio and what fell on the floor, but I put it back in. I see um, Pisces and Virgo. Give me more. So they could be, you could be this sign. You could be this sign. This could be the sign who they wanting you about. Give me more. We have Taurus. We have Sagittarius. Give me more. Give me more. We have Gemini, Pisces back, came back out, Pisces. Ooh, Cancer. Mm. You have every water sign out here. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Taurus, Taurus, Sagittarius, and Gemini. Give me more signs. We have Aries. We have Virgo. Okay. Anything else? Let's, we're just going to pick one. Let's see. And you could be a Leo. Okay. Or something could be important it's about this new moon in the Leo right now as well. Okay. Whoop. I love you guys so very much, Sunseeds. I hope this reading gave you guys clarity, clarity, not only clarity, but guidance as well. And so we get up next time. Later, Sunseeds.